Good morning, love. Good morning. Yes, first day of school. I'm going for free. Yeah, today is the first day of school. Samuel is going to first grade. So it's early in the morning, as you can see. I just woke up. I've been washing my face here and do all that extra stuff. It's my um, face wash. I'm about to wash my face in my rag right here. My toothbrush in the back one. But anyway, I'm about to make him some breakfast for well, all of us, but it's mainly him because all the kids are asleep. So I'm about to make him some waffles, some eggs, some fried eggs. I'm going to put some onions in it and some little bit of season to spice it up and salt to taste. We're going to use butter. Sometimes I use butter or cooking oil, but I don't have any today. I ran out. I forgot to use the rest. I don't have no olive oil or vegetable oil. I don't have none. So I'm about to make some fried eggs for him. You over here. My hair. You can do my hair. Right here. Yeah, over here is his hair product. I'm going to use the leave in as I am. The double butter cream. The kids have been messing with it. I'm going to use that for his hair. And this the sponge to give him a little curl so he want. And that's water. water. Okay. These are the comb. We're gonna comb it out real quick with this and finish it up with this. And then go in with this tea product. This is lotion. Um, that's it, guys. Uh, we'll be back when the food is done. I think I'm about to let him go get dressed while I'm cooking the food. That way he can go ahead and eat. But I don't know. He's wearing all white and he's about to eat this with some syrup. You think you can do it? Just have the towel over you. Yeah, I think you can. You're a big boy. You can do it. And this is the towel he's going to have over his neck. It's nice and clean. He's going to have this over his neck while doing his hair. But I think he's going to have it over his head while he eat. When he get on eating, I'm just going to go ahead and go in the car. So that way, we don't run out of time because I have to, drop, I have to um, drop him off at school. So... And while the cook, food is cooking, you know, she's not, I'm, about to, I'm about to wash my face real quick. As you can see, I got my scarf over my head. I slept with it. I'm surprised to stay on. I washed my hair last night and wrap it out. So I'm going to drop him off, and then when I come back, I'm going to stop my hair before I pick him up from school. I'm so tired. I was up till over 3 o'clock this morning. Don't ask me why. I was just too tired just being up. I was doing some other stuff, and I was so tired. Then I had to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning. I let that alarm go back in, and I reset it for 6.30. I said, let me get up. I said, no, let me get up for 6. Then I'm up now. But anyway, we'll be back. Okay, guys, his food is done. That's his. Tell him what you have, sir. I got waffles and eggs. I got waffles and eggs. I just washed my face. As you can see, I put a little lotion on my face. I'm still sleepy. I'm still sleepy. I wash it. And that's lotion I put on my face. I can build up with my eyes. Say your grace. I let it down this lady again. The kids kept me up. Then when I try to go to sleep, I went to sleep and I called myself for the uh watch a uh, movie. It's not really a movie, it's like it's like a show. Watch a show for a little bit. As you can see my eyes get a little bit. I watched it for a little bit, I fell asleep. By the time all that was over, it was like three, maybe moving over three. Yeah, by a lot went up at five o'clock, I was like, sure, but like this alarm go back in to six thirty. I was like, no, so I said it for six, I woke up. Here we are. I am tired, guys. Go ahead and eat your food. When he get done, I'm about to uh, do his hair real quick. I would have washed it last night. So he got a little bit of living condition on it. Just gonna be fresh today. And my hair, let me see if my hair dry. As you can see, I wash it and wrap it around. I'm so just too tired to take that right out. Yeah, I'm tired. You 
lucky I love it because I would have been in bad sleep. They said, see you later, sir. I just go ahead and go to school. I'm going to drop him off today. So I can find out where his classroom is going to be at. Meet some of his teachers. You know, you know what I mean. Just to meet some of those teachers. G-chat with him, walk into the classroom, and we come right back home. I use it us there every year. You know, I used to sit in his classroom like four. What, two, three hours? Sometimes even four. I don't think I'm doing it this year. I don't think I'm staying until no three hours in there after school. So they said school started at 8 to 2 30. I would stay there sometime to like 10, 11 when they're about to go to lunch. And I'll leave. All the teachers, I mean, all the parents be out of that class. I'll be the last one there. They even remind me when I be standing in there helping him with his stuff. But today, Daddy have to go to work. So I have to hurry up and come back home. And plus, I'm really tired because Daddy watching the kids. He has to work today. But he has to use some of his time so I can drop Samuel off at school today. So he's going to be going to work a little later today. He's going to, just going to be two hours late. So he put in some time for it, just so I can drop him off. So I can drop him off, and he'll be with the kids real quick. All right, come on, so I'm not going to stay too long today. I'm just going to walk into your classroom, see it. Bobby chit chat a little few minutes, the most 10, and just come right back home, okay? I'll just see you when you get up. Damn. Daddy off Wednesday. Today is Monday. I'm just gonna go up there Monday, Wednesday to really, you know, to see what's going on, walk around all his classroom, really meet his teacher like I want to. But today I'm not really gonna really sit down and really talk with them like I usually do from kindergarten all the way to third grade. Them two, three hours in the classroom. Today it's just gonna be like 10 minutes. But he's a, he understand. Make sure you don't put nothing. Oh yeah, his teeth came out yesterday. Half of it, that's what just came out now. Let me see. Uh, all his baby teeth coming out, guys. One. They half of it came out yesterday or one? Hugging. Okay. Yeah, better be careful then. This just, just came out. Suppose I don't see no blood. I don't want stuff on here. Otherwise, you're going to have to redress. Yeah, we don't have that much time. See? His baby teeth just came out. Where is it? Right here? Mm -hmm. Oh, your first baby too came out right there, yeah, yeah. So you better brush them baby twice a day. It's possible. Because those are your big boys too coming out now. You don't take care of them? Mine. I don't know what to tell you. You're getting braces Mine. and some other stuff. Mine ate waffles yesterday. That's my teacher, Mom. Uh, he ate some waffles yesterday. This one came down, came off down there. Now he ate some today again. The other baby teeth came up on this side. So I guess it's good to eat waffles to get them baby teeth out. I mean, they're they ready to come out, but it just takes the right food to come out. I think it's just a little bit harder than pancake. Oh my God, look at this, guys. The baby teeth. Let me ask if you guys can see. You can take your baby teeth and put it in a little bag. But what you do with the other one yesterday? Yeah. Look at them little tiny little teeth. Baby little teeth. Okay. All right, guys. He's getting full. Let me about to go ahead and do his hair. Are you done? Mm -hmm. We gotta get it going. I'll be right back, guys. I can make my own blood. Huh? I wanna bleeding. You want milk? Mm, yeah. Oh, you want some water? I want water. That. I didn't get no orange juice, and you can't have nothing sweet. Only orange juice or tea we drink in the morning or water or milk. That's what we drink, matter of fact, guys. And the juice I have in there is some juicy juice, grape, and he only that right now. Let me make sure they can see you. Very good. Okay. Elijah has been messing with my tripod, so when I when I set it the way I want to, because we did a video yesterday, 
me and daddy did it two times twice a year so elijah likes to come down here and mess with my lights and my tripod and that's why i have to re well, readjust my stuff every day because they're like he'll come down and score everything and take it apart the other day he unscored the ring light and two pointed the tools out and we can't we cannot go without that tools the ring light fell the top of the um the thing fell out and I was like, Elijah, where's my stuff? Because you was the last one I saw over there. So you know what he pointed? He pointed at the trash can. He said right there. But the trash can wasn't there. So I thought that he took it outside. So he stopped pointing towards the door. I said, you took it outside? Because he did went outside when daddy went grocery shopping. He went out there to meet his dad, like right on the porch. But this is the problem. So he cannot reach the trash can. Yeah, he can't reach the trash can. And he can't even open it. Mm-hmm. So when he pointed outside, so well, he have to be on the floor. So I know he can't reach the trash can, so it have to be on the floor. So I asked his dad. His dad was like, I saw two. I showed him what it looks like, because one of them was on a ring light. He said, I saw two when I come in, it was on the floor, but I didn't pay no attention. So I asked him what did he see, and then he told me. So when I checked, thank God, when me and his dad was looking, he was like, they started right there. I saw it too. Thank God. So it was not outside. It was in here next to the TV. That's a little dime size, guys. Just going with the living condition. Sunday or Saturday party. Right. That's their business. As long as they don't disturb me and stuff in my sleep. Or dog come and poop all in my yard because I don't have a fence. I'm cool. They can do whatever they do over there. So don't say don't bother me. If you know what I mean, guys. As long as they ain't bothering you, don't worry about it. Right, guys? Twist them up a little bit. That's all. Put your head up there. Sponge. Your hair. We just started using it too. I can tell you, this is a workout. When he go to the barber, he uses it on him. So I was like, but I have holes in it. Yeah. Just like that. I can tell you, this is a workout, huh? I'm seeing something that needs to be with twist. We're not gonna really go deep in. Just so, just give him a little something, something. We're going for a different style today. Put your head down, baby. He got that warm hair back here. He got that little thing back there. Elijah head is gonna be different from yours. And Jay, my, you got that coconut head. to get in there sometime and that's how your attitude is. It's one of my babies that give me a little tough time. 
put your head down. But I had to put my foot down on him. Like the dream I had this morning, I'm sure it was about you. And I had to put my foot down on him. And I had to say, if anything takes place in spirit realm, the, the spirit control the physical realm. So I thank God, I mean, I had my foot down on him. If he was controlling me in my dream, in the spirit realm, I mean, he controlled me physical. So anytime, if you have a dream, you're frightening somebody, that person beat you up, you better be careful. He's telling you that person in the spirit realm is stronger than you. Or oh, they can tell you just a prayer verse or something don't come between you and that person. But I won't fight with him. I was just coaching him basically by his destiny. That's to let me know God is happy what I'm doing with him. I know some people out there don't believe in God. You know, that's you. But I believe in God and we'll start. When we get up in the morning, first thing we do, we tell him thank you and we pray. Then we go wash our teeth. Okay, that's it, guys. Go get your book bag so we can go. Get your book bag, bring it in here, and bring that lotion. So I think you need a new lotion on your face. Bye. This is Samuel going to school. Samuel happy? Yes. He got on his blue and white shoes. You happy? I like your book bag. He's cute. Okay, say hello. Can I say hi? Hi. That's you guys playground. Huh? Hi. Stand right there. Look, we ready to go. Are you gonna say hi? Bye. That's just good. <laughs> okay. Good morning. You see your class? 
They probably gone, son. Oh, now they're right there. I like, you look like how they're going to be you on time. Is this fourth grader? Hi. Did you say hi? Good morning. Huh? You shy? He already ate breakfast. That's them eating. You are going to repeat the class. Ah, yeah. Your hand goes up. All talking stops. All eyes will be on me. And that's our signal that we're ready to start. So let's practice one more time. Hands go up. Mouths closed. All eyes on me. We are ready to start. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Mr. I am Mr. Allison. I am your principal here. Round of applause. You're here on time. You look fabulous. And we're ready to learn. A couple notes as we start out our day. Parents, we're going to ask that you trust us with the well-being of your child. We know we're going to be in for a packed house. Some people did not make it today. But you'll notice our cafeteria will begin to get more and more and more crowded as we get more and more students in. In order to make room for the students, we ask that all parents not sit at the tables, but allow every student to sit at the table. If you're here, 